Thanks for joining this week's episode of Unleash the Potential. We are talking to Lynette Turner on how her program for women, called Encore Life Academy, harnesses the life experience and knowledge acquired to transition themselves in their careers. Please listen in as she walks us through four great steps to start off the process. Welcome to today's uh, morning show of uh, Unleash the Potential. So I brought Lynette here today because Lynette and I have been working together. You know, everybody sees on LinkedIn, hashtag ready to work. And I think now that we're in this big pause, it's time for us to take advantage of it. Um, I know that a lot of people have been affected career-wise with COVID, myself included always looking for something else to do. So I've been working with Lynette. Lynette is um, a great friend and a coach. And so now's the time to reassess. You just don't go out throwing out your resume like wallpaper to uh, all these roles because the success, the success of that isn't, is not gonna, is not gonna fr- bear any fruit. So I just wanted to talk to you Lynette. Um, how are you feeling about um, what we're doing? And because I know uh, you've helped me start this YouTube channel, so which is really good for me because it helps um, my uh, network, which is you know fairly wide and broad around the world, um, you know, be engaged. So uh, I just wanted to know how you could help others like you're helping me and what your thoughts are about this whole ready to work. Yeah. Well, thanks, Robin. I, I, I like what you said there about, you know, sort of wallpapering your resume around. I think that that's kind of what a lot of people are doing right now. They're just sort of taking and they're just throwing the resume at all these different roles. And, you know, it's something that, you know, I, I understand that we need to get out there and we need to be, you know, job searching and, and applying for roles. But one of the things that I've learned throughout the years, just even for myself, is that when something is sort of not really well thought through or kind of half baked, if you will, um, you can you can get a little confused on what you're doing, and sometimes things like that get a little bit diluted. So. I think that this is a really great opportunity for for people to take some reflection time while they're still applying for roles, while they're still doing their networking opportunities and get really clear on what is it that they truly want and get clear on their story. So um, you and I have been, you know, just sort of just as a friend, I've been sort of, you know, working with you a little bit on kind of what's next for you. And I love that you're doing all the things that you're doing now, the podcast and all these things you're experimenting. And that's, pro- that's probably the, the most important part of figuring out what's next for you is to be experimenting on doing different things. So there's, there's tools that everybody has. And I can explain those tools if you like. Um, we all have them and we can all use those tools to really get experimenting, prototyping different types of options for a career path moving forward. So. Yeah, well, I think that, that would be great because I know that um, you can take something that's complex and explain it in simplistic terms, which is very helpful um, for the readers and, and sorry, readers, if, uh, I mean, listeners. Um, and so, yes, please do. So I think, so there's four tools that, that everybody has. And that's, I, I use these tools even for myself. Um, every year I sit down and I, I take a, an evaluation and reflection on where I'm at. And so I've been sharing these tools with you as well. And um, they're, they're, they're quite simple. So the first tool is really just your imagination. And I, it, when, you, when you think about imagination, applying sort of a sort of a a forecasting or visioning process to what you want for yourself is really important a lot of people will you know write vision vision statements a lot of people will use vision boarding but one tool that i really like to use uh, to really sort of draw on my imagination is mind mapping now mind mapping isn't anything new you can actually google search it you can see but at the core of mind mapping is you take a, a central theme, something that you're, you're sort of desire or, or something that you want to accomplish, 
and you really take the opportunity to flesh out what that 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 core theme is and when you start to really you can you can do a lot of that in your mind but when you get it on paper and you're really sort of branching out all these different options and ideas and taking a step back and really looking at it you'd be amazed at what sort of things really open up and i know that's what you did around well what can i do to sort of broaden my network because that was at the core theme of what you wanted was what can i do to you know sort of gain engagement with my network and one of the things that came up was a podcast and so i think that's amazing and that's what i think everybody can do so first tool is imagination and applying a sort of a mind mapping approach to really draw on that imagination and go big go and go crazy because some of the craziest ideas actually turn into something pretty fabulous and then the second tool is uh, focus and I think everybody needs to get super clear on what they want in their life and you know again it's something that you can think about you can do a vision board you can do all those things but when you actually write a story about where you are going it can actually provide a lot of clarity so one of the things I do to sort of draw on the tool of focus is to create almost a fairy tale so I've got a, a template that I use. It's sort of once upon a time, <laughs> there was a woman named Lynette. And I go into maybe a problem uh, that I'm facing in that story, uh, which is typically a villain in the fairy tale. And then I talk about sort of the things that I did to overcome that problem or challenge. And then I, I end up writing out. And so, you know, and so at the end of the day, this is all how it worked out. And the moral of the story is this. And so that's, that's a really interesting way of uh, really going to getting clear on what you want. And that, that fairy tale story can be written in the future. So something that, you know, maybe is one year, two years, or even three years out. So, and then the third tool is your, um, your feelings, your, your, your state of being. And that's super important because fear and doubt are feelings that can actually really take you down a really poor direction and it's hard to stay super focused and super and super and super positive about how you're feeling about you know what's next for you or where can you where, where you should be going so one of the things I suggest to really sort of draw on the tool of feelings is to be journaling and journaling every single day around two key feeling areas one is where do you get your energy from and what is sucking the energy from you and get really clear like be very specific when you're writing that down in your journal i today i had this meeting this is how the meeting went and this is how i felt about the meeting it either energized me or it didn't energize me it sucked it was sucking the energy out of me and really sort of writing down what was it that you were doing that caused the feeling of energy, like really positive energy, or what were you doing that caused sort of a negative energy, or what was part of that, what was that, what was happening that was causing that sort of negative energy? So now you've got, you know, you've got your imagination, you've been mind mapping around a central theme, you, you've written sort of a, a life story for one to three years out. You're really journaling about what's making you feel good, what's, what's sort of making you feel sort of not so good. And so the last thing is sort of pulling all that stuff together. And that's really sort of taking sort of the sort of, the, the, the fourth tool is really sort of the desire and the desire to sort of take action. And one of the things that um, even in my business transformation consulting world, um, you know, everybody can have great ideas. We can all have a great vision. But if we're not executing on that vision and we don't have a plan around that, how we're going to execute on that vision, then it's really just a vision. So there's probably four key areas that your strategy, your strategic plan, your, your action plan should take. And that's really sort of writing out your vision. So you've got that because you've done all that work around writing your story, your mind mapping. And then sort of putting out your objectives. So what are, what, what are the things that you want to accomplish? What are sort of the focused areas that you're going to work on? Um, how you're going to measure progress against it? 
And then the fourth thing is, what are the steps that are you going to take to really actually achieve that vision? So those are sort of the four tools. You've got, you know, you've got your imagination, you've got your focus, you've got your feelings, and you've got your desire. And when you put those together as a bit of a system, I think that you will be amazed at how much clarity you'll get on really sort of the direction that you should be taking forward. And really, I think just, you know, more so preparing you with more than just one option, because when you only have one option, it's, it's, it's not as obviously as good as having three options, but you can start to experiment and you can start to go down this path and these different paths and much more sort of clarity and, and opportunities will come your way. Yeah, well, I certainly agree. I mean, I think that uh, it's important for people to realize that uh, also going down this process, like the one you have uh, just described, and it is a very valuable process, is part of the thing is, uh, there's no such thing as doing it the wrong way. I think not doing it at all is a disser disservice specifically since we have this opportunity. And um, because we're all in the same boat, everybody uh, is, we're all being affected in some way or, or, or another. And so can you tell me about um, the, the actual product um, process that you have and are you planning on giving that um, to others like myself? Yeah, so those four tools I can definitely, um, you know, they can be shared and I'm more than happy to help anybody go through those four processes. Uh, just reach out and that's something that I would do sort of pro, pro bono for anybody just because I think they're important and they're easy and there's something that you can really sort of put together. The second part is a much more intensive uh, process which I have uh, got a, a, an Encore Life Academy that's gonna be launching on August 10th. Now that Encore Life Academy is targeted towards women uh, in the ages of 40, 50, 60. Uh, really, I, I did that, I'm doing this academy because there are so many women just like me who are in a position where, uh, for me, I had a, a very interesting life change event happen and I became an empty nester and I'm, you know, I'm single, I, I, I don't have any more kids to look after. Um, well, I guess I'll always have kids to look after, but you know, I, I finally have this opportunity now to get out there and see the world for me. And I actually woke up one day and went, oh my God, what am I going to do next? And I started to sort of think through, well, what is the process that I take my clients through when, when I do sort of business transformations? A lot of it is sort of on the personal side as well. So I thought, okay, well, I'll take that same process, which is a very design thinking process and apply it to some of the things that I want to do moving forward. And it's been super helpful for me. Um, some of the, what I described earlier, those four tools are in there, um, but we get much more uh, deliberate and much more um, specific about um, really sort of identifying where you are today. So you start from today, and then getting super clear on where you want to get to over the next two or three years, and then really developing the actual steps to, to really get you there. Um, a lot of it, again, is I'm using sort of design thinking methodology, which is very much about gathering data. It's uh, like sort of current state data, doing lots of bucket assessments on where am I feeling in these certain areas, um, and then really sort of getting clear on, well, what are my options and include and, and building a, a sort of a design thinking boardroom team, I'm calling the Encore Life Boardroom, where you'll be put together with a cohort of other like-minded women and you will work together and collaborate together on your prototypes for what you can start to experiment moving forward. And at the end of the academy, which is about four week period, you, you still stay in the academy, but the, the, the true heavy lifting will be done over a four week period. 
you'll have a, an actual action plan that will have those, those steps that you're gonna take, the, the measures that you're going to use to make sure that you're you know, making progress uh, towards an actual well thought out vision. So I'm excited about the program. It's gonna be a founding members launch. It's launching on um, August 10. And I guess you'll probably share a link at some point uh, for, the, for the Encore Life Academy uh, registration. Yeah, like I'm, you know, this is, I, I, I wish these interviews, you could get, always get up the first two, two minutes, all the, the real good stuff. Because Encore Life Academy, to me, is a much needed product, specifically now with the pandemic. If you look at women and gender diversity, uh, we're actually falling behind because um, people are staying home because they have to. They have ch children who are not in school. They can't go, go to work. Um, and we are, we're falling behind. And, and a program like this just makes that uh, impact far less or actually will allow people to restart um, with this opportunity. So I want to thank you for spending the time with me. Uh, I want to also thank you for helping me along my journey. Um, these things um, seem simple to do, um, but it's really about mindset. And I want to um, tell the viewer and the listener that um, Lynette can be reached um, and I'll on LinkedIn and uh, I'll make sure that I have uh, the information um, posted in, in the, uh, the video. And thank you, Lynette. Well, thank you, Rob. I really appreciate you taking the time and allowing me to sort of share the, the Encore Life Academy, but I hope that I left some useful tips and tricks for people that they can just take regardless of joining the Academy or not. Oh yeah, 100%. Thank you. Thank you very much. And please subscribe to Rob Bartle's YouTube channel, Unleash the Potential. There you have it, folks. Another inspiring founder who has a great idea who is unleashing the potential. Please reach out to Lynette Turner at Encore Life Academy. The transition will change your life. Thank you.